Hi guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to the channel. And not a reaction today, it's a little bit of a different video um, that I thought needed to be made. And I've actually took the time and gone and done some research, reached out to a couple of people that I personally work with, uh, and got some more information and some context on this situation. So, to give you the backstory, uh, one of my friends uh, seen a post a couple of days ago now, last week, on, uh, on TikTok. And uh, this person was a tattoo artist that had posted that she had received a copyright claim, copyright strike, on uh, a piece of fan art. It was uh, to do with sleep token tattoos. Um, and he'd sent me a sent me it over uh, and said, have you seen this? I, I really don't think that the band would do this. And to be honest with you, they wouldn't. Um, trust me, I know they wouldn't. Uh, especially for what it was. It was completely um, changed. It was fan art. It was a tattoo design. It was a drawing. Uh, it wasn't anything that was highly copyrightable or anything like that. It was fan art. And I'm in the official Sleep Token server, just using this as an example. Fan art is completely fine. And from the people that I know, the band also quite enjoy it as well. I mean, why wouldn't they? People are talking about the band. They're promoting the band. Obviously, they're going to get more views. Um, now, this doesn't just involve Sleep Token. They're just obviously one of the many bands, probably one of the most known bands, especially on the TikTok platform where this has come from. So he reached out. I asked him to get me some screenshots of what the message actually says. Uh, I've dealt with copyright myself in the past, um, especially doing a reaction channel and things, and I know how it works. Um, I'm in a very privileged position to have permission from a lot of labels and bands now, so I am able to get past these uh, these blocks or strikes or whatever you want to call them. There's, di there's a difference. A copyright block and a copyright strike are completely different. Uh, and a copyright claim as well. There's a couple of different things. Uh, it could be a video to make in future, to be fair. But anyway, to get back to this, um, I got a screenshot of uh, the actual message that this person received. And this was on the TikTok platform and also the Instagram platform as well. Um, so one of the screenshots I've got that says your content was removed from Instagram. Uh, and it says, your Threads account has been disabled because we received a notice from a third party that your account infringes on their intellectual property rights. Now, the video was just a heart emoji, sleep token, and a heart emoji. And it just says, in, in anticipation of this sold out Wembley show tomorrow, here's some sleep token designs I'd start the new year with. So this is a video from last year that has literally just been struck now. Um, and someone has, fail, uh, has filed a claim. Now, when you go into it more... And you actually do a little bit of digging and stuff, which is where I was kind of interested to see who had actually submitted this claim. This is where it gets interesting. So it just says, please do not steal. These are my designs to, uh, to be not to be tattooed by although anyone other than me. You know, she's claiming her artwork, which is more than fair enough. Hashtag sleep token, hashtag sleep token tattoo, etc. So the second screenshot, and I'm, I'm reading these from like Instagram DMs on, on the phone. So you can see. Uh, it says, email the reporter. What you need to include is include the report number, explain the reporter why you think that your content does not use their intellectual property in an unlawful way. Tell them that if they agree with you, they should follow the instructions in the email that we send them after they reported your content. If the reporter contacts us, we'll put your post back on Instagram. Until then, no one else can see it. Now, this person in particular is quite concerned because obviously they're a small business owner. They're trying to do tattoos. Obviously, they're using social media to promote their artwork, which is more than fine. You know, a lot of tattoo artists do this, and this is just this one occasion. So this is where it gets interested. So the copy reporter name was filled in as Sleep Token. The copy report number is as follows. It looks like a mobile number, just a reference number. Now, the email address enforcement at rico management.com now like i say i work very very closely with a good few bands now i'm in a very privileged position to be able to do so one of them bands is in fact sleep token they do not use a company called rico management they don't need to they would not need to bring in a third party to copyright strike someone's instagram video or a reel or whatever you want to call it they have their own management company and we're on Spine Farm Records and now on RCA Records. And I guarantee RCA do not need to use a third party either. Also, 
what the strike is being done for, and when you see the original video, it is simply a drawing. It is a flash sheet of some sleep token designs. Yes, it has the music in the background, but that music is allowed on the platform. You can't monetize it because obviously it's copywritten. But that's not what we're trying to get at here. That's not going to affect this person's reach. That's not going to affect anything to do with the video. This claim that has been submitted, and I have confirmed this now by speaking to numerous different people, one at the management company, one at an ex-label that I have a contact with, and it has also been ran past the band. It is not them. 100% it is not Sleep Token that have copyrighted and took that video down. Now, this is where things get interesting. Because a quick Google search and a quick search of various different company websites of this Rico management. And I will actually be careful because Rico management could mean anything. But just from, from my kind of search, quite interesting that they have a Liverpool-based address that I'm not going to reveal in this video. If you so happen to go and search and find this address of this company, then on your head be it. I am not going to dock someone on YouTube. That is highly illegal. But... From what I can see, and it was just an interesting thing, that it just so happened to be a Liverpool address, um, a very, very short-lived company um, that is now showing as dissolved on Company's House. It is the only Rico management that I can find, and it does go back to September 2020, and then was resigned, and, and the company dissolved and closed down uh, in 2021. So it wasn't actually open very long, um, there was one single director with another company that has also now dissolved with the same address based in Liverpool. Um, but yeah, you go online uh, and you do a little bit of a search on this company, especially on Twitter. There is a lot of people talking about these claims. Um, and if you do a little bit more digging and you start looking into other people's posts and things, you can see that this company have submitted so many false DMCA requests on behalf of so many labels. Some of these labels I've spoken to, but you just go through, I mean, I'm just, I'm on, I've got Twitter open right now. I'm just scrolling through a thread. They've submitted DMCA copyright takedown requests for artists under Sony BMG, which you just don't want to get involved in a legal battle with someone that big. Metal Blade Records, Napalm Records, it seems to me, and this is what I can kind of see from people posting, is that this person, whoever it may be, again, it could be this person that is associated with this company on Company's House. It could not be. It could just be a you know, a front company or it's just someone with the same name again, hence why I'm not confirming they are linked because there is no way to confirm that and you've got to be very careful with these kind of things. But it seems to be they go after creators using very, very popular at the time bands um, music or what they are saying is they own the copyright and the intellectual property rights of. I don't know how someone can submit a DMCA claim against someone's artwork that they have drawn and then Instagram, which it's, it's kind of Instagram's fault as well here for actually honoring this request and not properly looking at it because... It looks dodgy anyway from the form that I got sent. The, the fact that they just put sleep token um, in, in the actual name of the person. I personally think that the band themselves don't have time. Probably aren't interested. Uh, not that they're not interested in the artwork. That's not what I'm saying. They're definitely not interested about someone making tattoo designs. And are going to go after people, especially on platforms where the band boomed. This it's just it's stupid. It would not happen. It's also being confirmed that it's not them by people that work very very closely with them, or that have in the past worked very very closely with them. And again, I'm keeping them people's names very much anonymous. I'm not going to name drop, but I do have the connections to be able to reach out to these people and just say, "Can you take a look at this for me? Does this look legit?" Can you maybe run it past someone and just see if this is if it if it's legit? And it's not. It's completely, completely and utterly fraudulent. Now you go through, like I say, on Twitter, there is numerous reports from different platforms. Uh, it does tend to be Instagram and TikTok. So YouTube themselves probably are onto this by now. Um, I mean, 
I have various different ways um, of being protected from this kind of thing on YouTube. Like, I actually have permission by the label and the artist or artists to be able to use their content. Um, again, I'm in a very, very privileged position. So I think YouTubers should be pretty protected if you're working officially with the artist or the label. But I think this is something that definitely needs talking about because this can actually lead to people's platforms being completely closed down. Like a DMCA is serious. The way YouTube operates it, you get three strikes and you're out basically. So the first one will restrict you from going live for two weeks. The second one will restrict you from uploading and going live. I think it's for four weeks. Don't take this as gospel. It's just rough estimates. And if you get a third one, they just completely shut your channel down. It's game over. Uh, I did have a friend in another uh, industry that that happened to by um, subscribers reporting the content and that channel was reinstated but it took them a long time to be able to uh, to get that channel back. Uh, but this, this just seems to be someone with a vendetta against some, some people for some reason. It definitely is targeted towards metal content creators or people that are involved in the overall alternative scene, so the likes of your tattoo artists. Um, I have seen someone that uploaded a video of a DJ set. This Rico management then struck that video and he was restricted for posting for 30 days. That was TikTok. Now... The thing is, and again, from this um, form that was sent in, surely if you get any of these and TikTok or Instagram, because I'm, I'm guessing it's more these platforms, more than YouTube, unless you don't actually officially have permission, you then could have problems. All that they should have to do really is submit the appeal TikTok and Instagram then only have to go. And again, I know this takes time. You know, this is stuff that I have to do myself. I have to upload an unlisted video, send the link over to the label. They whitelist it and approve it and whatever. And then it's allowed to go up or the block is removed if that is a case, if that happens. Um, this is kind of worrying them. It's It just seems to be random people and random creators that this Rico management are just deciding that I own the rights to that. I own the rights to this. Um... The person who's doing this, if you happen to see this video, you really, really need to be careful because if you're putting fake DMCA claim requests in, you have to fill in a couple of boxes. And I've gone into various platforms and stuff. It was on my videos, so you know, not that I'm not putting the risk of anyone else out there. I tried to copyright strike my own videos and see what boxes you have to fill in. Uh, on YouTube especially, when you do this, you have to say, that if the claim is successful and YouTube find out that it isn't, you have to prove that you legitimately own the rights and the intellectual property rights or copyright rights, whatever it may be, to that piece of content. If you don't, you're going to get yourself in massive, massive trouble. And the bigger that the bands that these this guy or guys keep going after, trust me, you may be getting these people's content restricted right now, if you keep on submitting these false copyright claims and the labels themselves decide to investigate, you're going to find yourself in a whole lot of trouble because you're claiming that you own the intellectual property rights to something that the label and the artists own the intellectual copyrights for and they will just counter sue and the likes of going after Sleep Token, again, these seem to be the biggest band involved in this. RCA Records are absolutely massive like you don't seem to understand how many different little pots that they have their hands in or how many pieces of the pie that they currently own um they're not small and will literally crush you without thinking about it so it's it's a dick move copywriting someone's material as your own in the first place to get it taken down I don't see why people are doing this or why this Rico management are even trying to do this. Um, but like I say, just be careful. If you are a copyright, uh, not a copyright, if you are a content creator that is potentially using copyrighted material, you can reach out if you have a decent sized following. Again, this usually does boil down to having some form of number platform behind you. Not all the time, not 100%. Again, I am fucking lucky to be in the position that I'm in, to have the following that I have. 
and to have been contacted and allowed to use what is copyrighted material. Um, yeah, if you're one of these content creators, whether you're a tattoo artist, whether you're doing covers, because these people will go after backing tracks, and most of the time, the initial first step of how this works, it's all bots. So there'll be a bot in the background that will detect the backing track. Sometimes, and in most cases, will just allow it to go up, but you can't monetize. But if someone submits a takedown request saying that they own the copyright, that platform are going to act and they will take your piece of content down. Um, now, what I'm saying, and obviously I have used the band name that submitted the claim, it's not them. Don't contact them directly. Really don't. Um, if you wanted to, if this happens to you and it's under the same name, you could reach out to their management. They may or may not reply. It took me a few days to get a reply. Again, I am in a very, very privileged position. and I am very, very honoured that they replied and then in the speed that they did. And hopefully I've got a resolution for this person now. But I just thought it was worth talking about because ultimately there is somebody going around this RICO management submitting false DMCA intellectual property right claims which in itself is illegal because they don't own the intellectual property rights. So if you're affected by this or have been affected by this, let me know down below in the comments. I'm not saying that I'm on a one cure for everything that I can get everyone's content reinstated, but I'm just kind of putting it out there in the alternative space so that people kind of have an idea. And if you do get one of these strikes and there is some form of contact at Rico Management, it's probably... 99.9999% false because the people that do own these rights and that do own these copyrights have confirmed it wasn't them and in my experience and I've got a few years under my belt now especially with the, this scene and this music scene and how it works you get to know certain names you get to know the certain the certain publishers the certain labels the certain people that will enforce and that do enforce if you don't have permission. Rico management aren't one of them. They're frauds. So just just purely it could be a massive coincidence that this company was registered in Liverpool. Shame on you. You bastard. Because submitting claims like that, I mean, it would have been interesting if that was one of mine because on YouTube wouldn't have took it down. But... I have a I have a, a contact or contacts straight into the band that you're pretending to be and it ain't gonna end well if that is the same person. Again, not confirming it is, not gonna mention the name, not gonna mention the address, um, because that is illegal in itself, and I'm not stupid. But anyway, thought it was worth putting out there. A little bit of a talking headpiece. Um hopefully the content of the person that I'm talking about gets reinstated. I've got a feeling it might. We've kind of told her how to go about it now um, and sent her a screenshot of the reply basically from the label saying her ain't us, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, there we go. Don't know what you thought of that. Just thought it was worth sharing. Um, I suppose everyone, be on your guard. Even if you are on YouTube, you just never know. Um, but from what I've seen, like I've said, it's mainly TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. YouTube seems to be onto this Uh couple of screenshots I've seen that are, that are Google Sheets that would usually be what you would get to from YouTube. Uh, they seem to be aware. They seem to have just fucked them. The, the fake, don't listen kind of deal. TikTok and Instagram, on the other hand, aren't. So if you have a big following on either one of those platforms, watch out. If Rico Management come for you, challenge you. They're not real. And if they are real and that is them, then their company is operating illegally because their showing is dissolved. So they don't have a leg to stand on either way. They can't enforce anything. They're trading illegally. They get themselves into way more trouble than it's worth. But there we go. I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, people. I will see you all on the next video. Sorry I haven't uploaded for a couple of days. I have literally just got over the worst case of AIDS you've ever experienced in your life. It was horrible. But we're back. We're recording. So there we go. Right. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.